Don't you dare touch that camera. Centrifugal force. Should we talk about centrifugal force? <laughs> Hope you like that intro. <laughs> Hoverboards are amazing. Yep, and you never get neck injuries on them either, so that's probably the best thing about them. <laughs> never, never fallen off of it. No, Kitsy has never fallen either. <laughs> Love you, Kitsy. Yeah. Uh, okay, e-commerce. Yeah, let's do it. We're uh, we're focusing more on e-commerce um, because we've seen we're really excited about results that we've seen with our clients. Um, you know, from where they were pre a new website and then post that website and then what they do with continued advertising because it's not, like we were talking about before, you don't just get a website and then all of a sudden things are glorious. Right. Yeah, I think the coolest thing and something that's made us really transition more heavily focused on e-commerce, um, you know, a lot of clients are always, no matter what industry, I guess, you really focus on, oh, is this agency giving me enough value? Are we getting that return, you know, return on investment? Um, you always kind of think from that consumer standpoint or that buyer standpoint of, you know, they waste their money. But from the agency standpoint, that's amazingly exciting to us. It's right. not just us trying to close business, keep a retainer or whatever it is. Um, we're really here because we love seeing those differences. And the e-commerce side is beautiful because you can track everything so we can show all the great things we're doing. Yeah. And also, you know, the client knows it's a good investment. Um, so for us, l lending on our web development design skills our social, our AdWords, PPC stuff. Right. We've got a lot of talent in the house for all of this, and it just Full makes circle. sense. It really is. Um, and we're really big about not stepping out of what we can do and kind mm -hmm. of playing where we shouldn't be. That's true. Um, I can't design a website. Yeah. But I can run your AdWords. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and we're not doing you know voiceover commercials and stuff. I mean, we're really right. we're staying to our core value of what we're really awesome at and what we're you know the staff we have in hand. Um, and e-commerce clients have been great for us and us for them. Um, so I think, yeah, we want to talk about just, you know, a lot of people might be starting up an e-commerce store mm -hmm. or thinking about it or have one, and mm -hmm. it's just the mindset might be, let's just launch this really cool store right. and, like, people will come. I'll just throw it on Facebook. <laughs> if or you build it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if you build it, they'll come. Um, and, you know, we, we know more than a lot now because we have so many clients with it that it's certainly not that. It actually is a lot of effort to <laughs> oh, yeah. get the traffic, the right traffic, the right buyer. Um, the right experience, and there's so many different pieces to it. Yeah, if you if you were to bird's eye view it, I would really say it's two sides of the, of the fence that you're trying to cater to, and that's user experience. So yeah, your beautiful website that's easy to use and it loads quickly and all that good stuff for the actual user. And then on the other side is the search engines, like getting it to show up on Google and on Bing, um, getting Alexa or Cortana or whoever your voice assistant is, okay Google, to uh, bring up your website for whatever it is that that consumer is looking for. Um, those are two opposite ends and they're both very important. That's why it's important not to just say, okay, I have a beautiful website now, that's great, but if no one sees it, then you're not gonna increase any sales, let alone you know, begin getting any sales if no one's actually seeing your website. So that's where um, the full circle comes in and, and having a creative agency that can take care of you digitally 100%, not just creating a, a beautiful website, which is very important, and for that to be custom coded, which is one of the many things that sets us apart, um, to know and have that, to have the knowledge to know that it has to load quickly, it has to make sense to the user as well as the search engines, um, and then to get in the world of advertising, whether that's through social media, Google AdWords, they're very important because they're half of the first page, pretty much, you know, now when you Google something. Yeah, Google's making sure that um, <laughs> if you want to play in a competitive marketplace, you're going to be needing to play with ads. Yeah. Um, organic is still very important, but mm -hmm. um, yeah, if it's a competitive marketplace, you know your competitor's going to be up there ahead of you yeah. in that search. And that, um, yeah. You want to show up, obviously, but you want the sales to convert. I mean, there's so many different ways that we can provide that with ads. Um, one of the funnest ones we just did for a client was taking, out of the many campaigns that we have for him on Google, we took a single kind of a funnel. It takes you through a questionnaire. Um, 
just to let you know, it's water softeners, okay? I don't know about you, but before this client, I had no idea right. anything about water softeners, complete transparency there. And that's why I love this new strategy that, that we came up with. If I'm like that, then there's surely there's got to be many, many, many people like that um, that don't know about grains and backwashing yeah. and all that. Yeah, when there's so many products and it's such mm -hmm. a technical thing and it is a big purchase, you know, right. it's not a low purchase item there. Um, yeah, people are really afraid to spend that and what it is, and I'd certainly be the same way. Right, um, what is it? What's the difference? And that's right. what this online questionnaire kind of did. It was very visual and it was very simple. Just, you know, how many bathrooms do you have? How many people live in your home? Um, and if there was a question you couldn't answer, there was a guide to get you to where you could be able to answer that question. And I don't know, it was like three or five questions. It gets yeah. you to the end and it gets you three Recommended or four products. Recommended products, it yeah. might fit your product yeah. your price range. Um, yeah, and it's not, you know, thinking about, oh great, that's a water softener, how does it work for me? Right. It's just the idea is with e-commerce, it's not just launching that store, maybe throwing a little AdWords behind it. It's constantly finding different ways to find different segments of your clients or your customers, exactly. where they're at in education cycle, where they're at ready for the buy or not. Um, and just thinking of different ways, if they're struggling with this, how can we solve that problem, make that checkout experience, that shopping experience easier? Right. Why would they choose you over your hundreds of competitors? Because it's getting more and more competitive right. for every industry online. Yeah, I think it reiterates what we always talk about is every client is different. Um, that's why we, we try to come up with these unique, different ideas to cater to that client, um, you know, in order to see where they're struggling or where they could potentially be struggling that they, they don't know about yet. Something as simple as, I don't know much about this product or this industry. Right. Um, and to be able to answer that question, you know, that, that strategy is different for everyone and it's sure. about having the right team to find the answer to that problem or potential problem. So that's the fun in it, you know, and to have a whole team behind you to get you there, to get you more sales and to see those sales come in and to be able to provide those reports every single month and to just have happy clients. Um, I mean, that's, it's priceless to us. Yeah, it's certainly what, what we dream of is that retirement. We, the amount of stress we put on ourselves to make sure that <laughs> we're converting and we're doing good for our clients yeah. and growing their business. Um, and we definitely take it on like it's our business yeah. that we want to see them grow. And when they call, they're excited about it. Like we're twice as excited. It's not even yeah. our business in the sense of, you know, this is tied to <laughs> our income of that. So um, every penny, I yeah, mean, oh, every penny yeah. we put passion behind. I mean, not to sound super cheesy, but it's right. true. Like, oh, yeah. We're not just like, oh, yeah, give us, you know, all this money and we'll, we'll put it out there in the ad space. We're very, very cautious. And we have clients that could tell you that there are times that we don't you know, spend a, a full amount of that money because we're not just here to waste it. We're not just going to burn it. Yeah, we yeah, want to get that, exactly. yeah, that return. Absolutely. Every penny. <laughs> I like that line, though. We put passion behind every penny. <laughs> because it's true. It's true. <laughs> yeah, sorry, it's copyright. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's a pretty good just kind of chat about it. We just wanted to talk about, yeah, e-commerce is just not that setting up a store and going. It's um, really breaking it down and not thinking of having people come to your store, traffic numbers, and mm -hmm. then coming in and then converting out. Think of you know the actual person that's coming to the shop. Put yourself in their shoes, um, and it's really exciting when you kind of start thinking that way and thinking of it as right. people, right? And it's right. just how we help solve problems, drive value for the customer. Um, Not saying stagnant either, like you know, oh my you goodness, yeah, for a few months or a year. But if you're doing the same thing that you were doing before, then you're doing something wrong. You it's should always constantly. be trying to find new ways to bring in new and more revenue, uh, more clientele for those you know customers, or vice versa. Absolutely. But it's all about keeping it fresh because in, in business, in the world, we don't grow without change. So if you're not growing without change, if you're not changing things up for your clients, then you know how can you say that you're actually growing them to their full potential? So exactly. It's just another, another thing that sets us apart, I feel, and uh, we really put that passion behind every penny. <laughs> I'm going to keep that one. Oh, I'll make it that black. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think that's a good discussion. That was a good um, closing segment. Yeah, absolutely. Guys, uh, make sure you keep watching and uh, follow us. We'll have the link below. Or above. Right here. Or both. <laughs> Still figuring that out. See ya. Bye. Um. Is it recording? <laughs> Is it recording? It is, but we'll just cut to whenever we need to. Okay, I hope my mic is working. Check, check. I'm sure it is.